I'm on a mission to collect the perfect Lego Marvel minifig collection. So in part one of the series, we managed to put together a nice little collection made up of mostly some of the CMF figures as well as the main bulk of the Guardians of the Galaxy crew. But guys, I have been ordering a ton of minifigures, both from Bricklink, eBay, and as many places as I can find that sell Marvel minifigs. And I now have a giant bin full of loads of minifigs that I'm going to put together and add to the collection in this video. We have everything from big figs to minifigs to nano figs in this episode. It's going to be really awesome. So the main goal for this series was to collect one of each minifigure from from each character of the MCU, at least the main ones. Of course, I can't get one of every single one, and also improve them to be the best minifigures possible. So, for example, the first thing I'm going to be doing in this video is taking this normal Captain America minifig and grabbing one of my Captain Carter minifigs and ripping the arms and legs off and adding them to the Captain America to make the perfect Lego Captain America minifig. So of course this is based on the Endgame Captain America. I can definitely make other ones based on other movies. But we're going to get rid of that old one there and add this one into the front of the minifig stand. Now I've definitely got too many minifigs to add to this stand in this video. So I'm going to be just going through as many as I can and just trying my best to show you guys every single figure that I've been buying. So on the front two rows I basically want to have the main Avengers. My goal was to have the main six at the front. So the original six from the first Avengers movie and then have the next six most iconic Avengers sitting in behind them. The next row pretty much is full of Guardians figs I just really need the Drax minifig so come on Lego please release a new Drax minifig I would really love to not spend 30 40 pounds on this minifig so the next original Avenger I've got is of course Hawkeye now this isn't the perfect version I definitely will be improving this version but it'll do for now so Black Widow is the only of the original six that I still haven't got but the next one we're gonna add is Tony Stark now for the front row I'm gonna have him just in his plain outfit now this does mean that I've also bought the Hall of Armor set so if you want to check out the review of that I've done one on my channel but that means we have a ton of Iron Man suits to show you now these guys all do have the new helmets however I did buy a few with the old helmet as well so quick fire we have the Mark 1, which is really awesome. We have the Mark 5. We have the Mark 25, again, both from the Hall of Armor set. Then we have the Mark 50 with the old helmet. And then we have the Mark 85 and another Mark 85. Yeah, not really sure why I bought two Mark 85s. But next up on the list, we have the legendary King of Wakanda. Of course, that's Black Panther. I went for this minifig right here, and we're going to be doing some upgrades with him later in the video. So, of course, I had to pick up a Doctor Strange minifig. And again, I've actually got a really cool upgrade to make to this guy. I have some printed arms from Firestar Toys. Now, these look really, really nice and definitely add a little bit of extra detail to him. I love his cape as well. I think this is just fantastic and this is just a really good minifig all around. So back on the Iron Man theme, we have another member of the Avengers and that is War Machine from the Hall of Armor sets. Now Bodhi is a really cool character. I'm really glad to add him to the collection. And a sneak peek into another sort of branch of the collection I'm going to be doing is this other War Machine fig right here. Now that yes, that does mean I'm going to be collecting all of the Endgame suits that we see in that movie. So now the only other minifig that I've actually ordered in the suit is Black Widow. Now is it just me or does this look exactly like Pepper Potts? I mean it has the same face as this Pepper right here and the same hairpiece. I got really confused with this. Don't know why Lego didn't just make a whole new one for Black Widow, but yeah, I don't know if that's just me, but what do you guys think of that? However, I thought it might be cheaper just to order the minifigs individually, so I bought all of the bodies right here. We have four of the torsos and four of the legs. Now, speaking of Pepper, she also came in the Hall of Armor set, so here she is as well. And I'm knocking out the final two figs from that set. We have Nick Fury, of course, the leader of the Avengers, and the bad guy from Iron Man 2 is Whiplash. He's coming to the collection as well. Next up, we have this minifig right here. Wait, isn't that a DC minifig? Oh, wait, yeah, it is. So the reason I ordered this DC minifig is because I want to rip the arms and legs off this one and add it to my Black Panther minifig, making those upgrades that I mentioned earlier in the video. And damn, I definitely think that's a huge upgrade to this minifig. Now, I don't know if you can see in this bag right here, we have two very, very small nano figs. Those being Ant-Man in his regular suit and Ant-Man in his Avengers Endgame suit as well. These are pretty cool and I think they represent Ant-Man very well, but I will be getting a minifig of him, of course, in the future. So now we're going to go through quick fire with a couple of minifigs that are slightly less important in the MCU. We have this girl from Loki. I don't even know her name. I think it's a cool show. I haven't got quite got there in my Marvel rewatch yet, so I'm really excited to see that, but we've got her added to the collection. We have Shuri from Black Panther as well, which is a really nice minifig. I really like this one. I think it's one of the better minifigs we've got from Black Panther and I'm really excited to add this one to the collection as well. There's definitely a load of other Wakandans I want to add in the future but this is a nearly completed minifig of Ronan the Accuser from Guardians of the Galaxy. Now this is so cool. I pieced this one together because it's a very very expensive fig so all we're missing is the head. This will arrive in the next episode and I can't wait to add that to the Ronan minifig and this is going to be a really cool addition as well. On the topic of Guardians we also picked up this helmet right here. This is Star-Lord's helmet. Now I'm really excited to add this to the Star-Lord minifig that we already got from the Benatar. I really wish this had came in the set but it's a really cool one to add and I bought this one from Firestar Toys. Now I'll save this one to the end because this is super super awesome but we have our first Thanos big fig. Now this is awesome. I can't wait to get the Infinity Gauntlet. I looked online to try and find it but to get a store with that as well as all the living stones it would have cost me about £20 so I wasn't going to do that. I'm going to wait until I get the Thor's Hammer set. I think that comes with the Infinity Gauntlet as well as all of the stones so I definitely will wait for that. But nonetheless this is a very sick minifig. I love how you can take the head off. I really would like to see a Thanos in this form with the helmet on so you can swap and mix and match and stuff like that. I think that'd be really awesome but yeah 
yeah, really cool addition right there as well. And the final non-duplicate minifig is this Captain America. I just like the jacket, really. I think this looks quite similar to the one we see in Captain America, the first Avenger, so pretty cool right there. And it was definitely a cheap one, so I'm glad I picked that up. And finally, these last minifigs are just all duplicates. We do have another Bucky Barnes, just because he's such a cool fig, and he was going up in price, so I thought, why not buy him now? Another Falcon as well, because I think that's one of the best Lego minifigs we've ever seen from Lego, so I'm really glad to have another one of those in the collection, just as another one to sit on the back burner and sell potentially in the future. I also got another Gamora. Now, this might be because I want to sort of pair that hairpiece with another one from maybe a more accurate Guardians minifig, so I think that would be pretty cool. Just got that one just in case I ever needed it. And yeah, you can see I also added three Captain Carters in this episode as well, so yeah, three of those are added to the collection as well. One I'm obviously going to keep as the actual Captain Carter. You saw I scrapped one of them for parts earlier, and I definitely will be scrapping another one for parts to upgrade another Captain America in the future, because again, this fig is going up in price, so I thought, why not buy it whilst it's cheap? Oh, and I also got another Captain America cowl. I'm not really sure why I got that, but yeah, um, pretty cool. So yeah, this is all the minifigs we have so far from the Marvel theme. I think they're looking pretty good on this display stand right here. It's a shame Thanos can't fit on there, and I'm definitely going to have to expand this as we get more figs. You can see there's a few crammed in there at the back there, but definitely really excited to get these minifigs into the collection. I've been really enjoying buying Marvel figs so far, and I can't wait to buy more. Speaking of buying more, there's a lot of figs up for grabs that I need to really pick up soon. Uh, there's definitely some key figures and key people missing, so we're going to go through every fig that I'm looking to buy in the next few weeks for episode 3 three and into the future. Now of course there's the full end game suits that I need to buy. I think I have a few more that I need to buy, especially the heads and helmets for a couple of them, including Iron Man as well as Ant Man, Captain America, Thor, Nebula and Big Fig Hulk, just to name a few. And then of course we do have a load of other ones we need to pick up for the collection. The main name characters I think of course we need to pick up are Black Widow, Captain Marvel, and I'd really like to get Bruce Banner for the collection as well. I think that'd be really cool. I've been eyeing up a few upgrades to other figs as well. There's definitely some things I need to add to multiple figs, including the Black Panther. There's definitely one other thing I want to add to him. And another main Avenger is, of course, Vision. I think he's a really big one I want to get. He's kind of expensive, but I'm going to go with the one with the yellow spot on the forehead, of course, more accurate than the blue spot one. And uh, yeah, it's a really beautiful fig, so definitely going to have to buy the bullet on him very soon. And then, of course, there's the Ronin head that I'm missing right now, which is definitely going to be useful to pick up. Falcon's another big one alongside Loki as well. Those are both main characters I haven't got yet, and I would really like to get one of the Mysterios from one of the new Spider-Man sets. I mentioned earlier that I need Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy, but I also think Yondu would be a really cool one to pick up. Again, very expensive figs right there. So I don't know how likely it is I'm going to be picking those up anytime soon. And the last one I want to pick up is Yelena. After watching the Black Widow movie, she's definitely one I need in the collection. But yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback on what other figs I should get for this collection, as well as what you think of the figs we've collected so far. I think there's just some really good ones out there, and I definitely need to start buying some more, but I'm really happy with the ones we've collected so far. Now, now all that's left is you guys to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Lego Star Wars, Lego Marvel, Lego Castle and much more content on this channel. We're going for 50k this year so if you can hit that subscribe button it would be muchly appreciated and yeah see you next time.